on November 23rd, 1981, was born here, Singapore. Location, Southeastern Asia, islands between Malaysia and Indonesia, area, 622.7 square kilometers. Nationality, noun, Singaporean, Singaporean, adjective, Singapore. Ethnic groups, Chinese, 76.7%, other, 1.4%, population, 4,452,732. America, location, North America, area, 9,629,091 square kilometers. Nationality, American, Americans, adjective, American, ethnic groups, 77.1% white, 4.2% Asian, 4% other, population, 280,562,489. One year ago, I decided to pledge Alpha Phi Omega. But this isn't my story. It's Mike's. Daily working, daily striving, ever more to be. Choose Alpha Phi Omega, our eternity. Let's finish the AFIO. What do you think of it? Chapter meeting seven, and um, I think there are a lot of a lot of sentimental thoughts going around tonight. Um, I don't know. What did you think, Mike? I'm Mike Sun. My name is Dora, and I pledge during GD semester, which is last semester. So this is my second semester in EFIO. He's talkative. He's nice. He's sociable, and. If you ever need a ride, you can call him up and he'd like give you one, no problem. Uh, let's see. I think he's probably one of the better pledges because he gets all his stuff done on time and you don't even really need to harass him. Like he's gonna go out and interview people and he's gonna go out and do his service projects and he's very on top of his work. Well, one of the reasons why I joined Phil is because throughout like my first two years, I didn't join any organizations, I didn't realize that, you know, to really get to know people, you have to join an organization. Alpha Phi Omega is an international co-ed service fraternity. Each chapter is dedicated to doing service to our chapter, campus, community, and country. What sets Alpha Phi Omega apart from other community service organizations is evident from our name. We are fraternity. We keep the name fraternity as it is symbolic of the bonds of brotherhood that are formed between members. What sets us apart from traditional fraternities is that these bonds come from our service together. The UC Berkeley chapter is called Gamma Gamma. What the website fails to say, and what most people realize when they join, is that roughly 90% of the members or more are all Asian. Uh, hi, my name is Joey. I'm active in the fraternity and um, I'm part of the pledge committee that um, determines if pledges cross pledges like Mike. LFS, as you guys might know, leadership, friendship, and service, and through these um, people get to meet lots of different people. service project I had to do was go to a Brewer Mill School and uh, tutor some youth, youth. and um, uh, who they needed, the kid I tutored was uh, Jessica and she needed help. General service projects are a pretty good way to meet people but it really depends on the project. Uh, as for this service project, Brewer, uh, it's okay but you can't really meet people because you're, you're, uh, you're spending most of your time actually tutoring the kids so as far as the other people are concerned, you don't really talk to them that much.
lot of new people. And, uh, yeah, most of them are really cool. Uh, it brings uh, a lot of people can come together, have fun, do service. So I think I think it's a good idea. For you. Um, I think it's a good way to meet like random people. In certain ways, I think that you can meet certain people, but also I think that it limits what kind of people you meet because all the people in this organization might be like the same, so you don't get the chance to go and meet certain different types. When I film people in front of the camera, for the most part, <laughs> they're very similar to how they are publicly, but as far as actually knowing them is concerned, <clears throat> not really. Like, publicly in FIO, you can't really express your true self. <clears throat> Either sometimes, because, you know, you have to, like, watch out. You know, there are a majority of Asians in FIO. I guess um, if you're aware of the race thing, then, yeah, you'd be intimidated. But if you don't really think about it, it's not a big deal. Because uh, even though there was an overall um, Asian theme, it's more like just a joke. It wasn't like... Uh, serious or mysterious thing, you know. So if you just ignore it then and don't think about it, the race thing, then it's not that big of a deal. If I was a good way of meeting people, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty easy to fit in um, if you if you actually try. But um, uh, how your experience in if I really depends on how you make it. If you're outgoing or like try to meet people, you'll, you'll find a place um, just because there's so many people there, you know, talk around and talk and meet with people and during those times I think I really had fun.